Good morning, good morning, good morning. I need my happy juice before I start doing anything because it's a work day today, so. Mm. Oh, I literally put all my supplements together in the morning in my drink. Oh, that is just the nicest drink ever. The reason I call it my happy juice is because it's got everything in here. It's like a mix of magic. I put my greens in here, so I've got all the nutrition. That's really helped me with constipation and bloating. I've got my trim fit in here, which is all the fat burn, appetite suppressing, all of the mood, good stuff. Um, and I've also got my brand new collagen in here because it tastes really nice all mixed together. So everything goes in. The collagen is like overhauled my skin so I just mix them all together in the morning in warm water gorgeous um it's quite funny I had um I'm starting to get lots of that because a lot of you have tried the trim fit now a lot of you have tried the collagen if you try mixing if you mix them together in a drink in the morning oh one of my friends one of my best friends actually um text me couple of days ago to say that she's lost a stone in her first month of using trim fit <sighs> her face on that picture she's like i can't believe i've lost a whole stone um but yeah i've um if you do want to try any of the nutritional stuff including the collagen please just um give me a shout the brand new collagen only launched last week tastes amazing it's a new tropical flavor um Right, let's do a quick easy glow for work. So I need my trusty illuminizing primer. Right, I whack these on every single morning because I'm a bit of a side sleeper. So I do end up with little side eye wrinkles. Something about in your 40s, your skin doesn't bounce back as quick as what it did when you were younger. So I wake up with these little uh, creases at the side. So illuminizing primer this is phenomenal for giving you the let me show you it's the healthiest glow you'll ever see and it's super hydrating really nourishing for your skin um and the glow level is like maximum <laughs> right watch this i put this all over I'm surprised that I never used an illuminizing primer before. My 40s, like, what is that? How have I got to 40? <sighs> Look at that. So you're getting all the benefits of a normal primer. Like, it's giving you that perfect base for your makeup to sit on. Stopping your makeup sinking into your pores. But you're getting this insane glow i'm all about that um now i've been using bb cream with spf for a really light coverage if you're someone who doesn't like the feel of makeup on your skin this is the perfect alternative because it doesn't feel like you've got makeup on um it feels like a tinted moisturizer in fact we are yeah bb tinted moisturizer with sunscreen um the coverage feels better than a tinted moisturizer but the feeling of it on your skin is really really light if that makes sense um i'm just gonna pop that on so this is quite a dewy finish as well so teamed with that illuminizing primer you get double whammy because you get this nice dewy finish now get rid of that redness around the eye But I do love that healthy, glowy finish. When I was in my 20s, I hated it. I felt like it had to be dry, poreless, not show a single bit of shine. And now I'm like, give me a bath in the shine. You know, like, it's weird, isn't it? How your taste changes. Very funny how I used to just absolutely hate anything that was, like, glowy. I'd be like, oh, I look too shiny. And now I'm like, what is that? Let me have a bath in it. It's amazing. But yeah, I just love the, I love the feel of it. I love the texture of it. I love that you've got this 
really nice light feeling on your skin so that you don't feel caked in makeup. I'm going blind. I'm going a little bit blind. I think I needed a bright test. I'm like, whenever, whenever I'm tired, my eyes get even worse. I don't know about is that just just a another age thing that we've got that we got, which is lovely. Um, I'm murder at night time. It's like you know, like when you're tired and you're trying to see like the writing on the TV. Oh my god, that is. Once my eyes are too tired, it's just like they go now. I'm switching off now. It just goes like well blurry. Right, that's the base done. Nice and fresh, just easy to do. Nice light coverage. Now, I've mixed two shades together there because I just, I'm kind of in between shades at the moment. Um, but they do blend quite nicely together, you know. I do quite like a little bit of a warmer colour anyway to kind of... Brighten up your skin on a flipping miserable grey day. We can just cheat and do it with the makeup. Right, I'm going to show you. This is my little hack with three colour sticks. You might have seen me do this over the last couple of days because I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Three hydrating shea butter colour sticks. And these just do everything you need them to do for... Um, where's the other one? Lost one. There we go. Oh. That is odd. I have lost a colour stick. Hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Oh, that is going to annoy me. I've lost my... I've put somewhere... I've put my highlighting... Colour sticks somewhere. I wonder if I've tried to take it in my bag. Right, let's do the contour one. So I put this around the around the hairline, around the jawline, just under your cheekbone, and a little bit of the darker colour under your lip because that this just pulls it down, makes your lip look a little bit fuller, a little bit down the side of the nose. And then Puny Pink is going to be my blush colour. What's that noise? Can you, it's really loud that Jack, just be quiet a minute. I'm just uh, on a video and we can hear loads of weird noise in the background. Um, hey Kath, good morning. Right, I'm going to use Champagne Shimmer on the top lip. Also going to use it underneath my eye instead of concealer now the reason i don't really use concealer much anymore is mainly because it sits in the fine lines and wrinkles i don't know what that is i think it's just a 40s thing like you get to a certain age i just find like it'll go on okay it's lovely i put too much under here i'll look at it in an hour and it'll just look like it's sitting in the fine lines and wrinkles and I find that highlighter is much better. It stays looking fresh. It's just that little bit lighter. And it gives you even more of that glow that you're after. Now, can you see that from the side? It just looks amazing. I'm just going to dab out the blush. And if you want any more under your eye, you can just add... A little bit more and take it up. I do love the glow. I do love the glow. And I love the fact that it doesn't even look like you've got a lot of makeup on it. It just looks really natural once you've blended it out. 
you've got a little bit of definition, a little bit of colour in your cheeks and you've got this amazing glowy fresh kind of look going on. Now all I'm going to put with this is a really really simple eye look. Now obviously I'm not wearing a lot of makeup today because it's a work day so I'm going to go with a nude colour and I'm going to go with a um, reverent liquid eyeshadow. I do love the stick eyeshadows and I love the liquid eyeshadows just purely because they're dead simple and quick to do um, and they give you like a really natural look because I don't want anything too heavy or complicated on a work day. I want something that's quite um, quite easy to do. Um, <clears throat> happy juice! Um, Right, so these, they just come with like what looks like a lip gloss wand. So you can literally just go straight across your eyelid with it. Joe? Yeah. Did you check Synergy? Yeah. Okay. There we go. How easy is that? You can use either side. It's like a lip gloss wand shape. And you just get this like gorgeous. It's almost like a champagne shimmer that, isn't it? Reverence it's called. It's just, it goes with everything as well, you know, like it's really a really subtle warm colour. Now I usually just get fluffy crease brush and give that a little blend and that is that done now mascara wise all of the i'm doing like um i'm gonna do a little eye another eye and lip bundle i feel like that's the theme of the week is like eyes and lips bundles so today i'm gonna use the 4d again um but I'm going to do something different on the lips today. I'm going to go with something a little bit darker. Um, and we did Naughty Biscotti yesterday, didn't we? I think I'm going to do Dirty Chai today and show you. That's like another nude, but it's a little bit of a darker nude. So let's get on some 4D mascara first while it's in the sale. To be fair, this is the best mascara if you just want length and length and a bit of drama. Like it thickens, it lengthens, does all the things. Um, the Quadra that I use quite often is a little bit more expensive because it's a four in one. Um, so that's actually growing your lashes, that one. That's the all singing, all dancing growth system. Um, and that gives you like a natural looking lash. This one is going to give you... A more dramatic kind of look. I really need my hair dyeing but can you see all the greys coming through but I'm going away at the beginning of March so I don't really want to do it too early. I've booked in for like just before I go away but now every time I look in the mirror I'm like oh my god. <laughs> right let's get this other lash done. And you just literally blink onto the wand. If you hold the wand in front and blink, you'll get this really wispy, natural looking lash. Do you know, like it builds up. If you're just blinking, it just kind of builds it up. Now, if you want to go back and build this one up, you don't even need to go right to the base of your lashes. You can just hold it in front and blink. about halfway down your lashes and just blink love that it just makes everything 
brings any eye look together, doesn't it, when you get your lashes on? Right, let me show you this new um, colour. So yesterday was Naughty Biscotti. This is a little bit more of a darker um, all day lipstick. I'm going to use the same um, warm hearted lip liner. These are super soft. You know the way sometimes you can get scratchy lip liners? These are so soft. Now I slightly overline my bottom lip because my lips are not even. But that can also make your lips look a little bit fuller as well. There we go. Did a lip liner correction to this side. Um, and then this one is called Dirty Chai. Love the names. And this is like, it's still like a nude, but a different type of a little bit darker. It's got winter vibes on it. I feel another eye and lip kit coming on. Oh, I love this lip colour. Slightly over on that side. Love the shade though. Love the shade. I just need to sort that out a little bit. Um, and I like that combination of the lighter eye with that lip colour. I reckon we need another lip and eye kit. I'll sort that out later and I'll link it underneath. Um, love that one. Right, ladies, I'm going to drink my happy energy skincare juice and I'm going to get in the car and get myself off to work. So have an amazing day, whatever you're doing. Um, and yeah, I, may, I might be on later. I might be on later. Who knows? <laughs> I'll see you soon.